Hello again from East Coast Computer Services. Right now I'd like to demonstrate how to assemble a desktop computer. Thank you for watching. When building a PC, you'll need to gather the following items. CPU or processor, motherboard. The motherboard and CPU must be compatible. Fan and heatsink. RAM or memory, hard drive, DVD or CD drive, the modem if you wish to use a dial-up service, ribbon cables, case, if not already included with the case, you need a case fan, and a power supply and you're going to need an operating system. Begin by preparing the motherboard. Install the RAM stick into the RAM slot taking care not to touch the metal contacts. Press down firmly and when properly seated the retaining clips will move up into place. Repeat for the second RAM module. Place the CPU into the CPU socket. When properly aligned, it will drop into position without any force. Then lower the retaining lever. Put a small amount of heatsink compound on the top of the processor, if not already included with the heatsink. Put the heatsink and fan into position. Press down firmly. A good amount of force is required. Then move the retaining levers into place. Next we prepare the case. Carefully remove the bay cover. Set the jumper of the DVD drive as per the owner's manual. Slide the DVD drive into the drive bay. And secure with the appropriate screws. After setting the jumper on the hard drive, slide that into position. Align the screw holes and secure using the appropriate screws. Install the back plate into the opening in the back of the case. Install the standouts into the case. Standouts are screw-in spacers that prevent the motherboard from making contact with the case, thus causing a short circuit. The standouts screw into the case directly below the motherboard screw holes. Put the motherboard onto the standouts and then secure using the appropriate screws.
Remove one of the expansion covers in the back of the case. Install the modem into one of the expansion slots and secure it to the case using the appropriate screw. Make your internal connections Refer to your motherboard's owner's manual for the appropriate connections. Connect the ribbon cable to the motherboard. At the other end of the ribbon cable, connect to your hard drive. And your DVD drive. Make the power supply connections. Close the case Make the external connections Turn on your PC Insert your operating system CD and follow the on-screen instructions.